The project, which started in October 2016, was to ultimately ease the persistent traffic congestion by the creation of four slip roads with reinforced concrete slabs and rehabilitated dilapidated existing ones. Before the expansion works, commuters have had to endure the unpleasant situation of staying in long and winding traffic jams for long periods. The motorway is over 50 years and has developed a number of potholes. Government, in response to fixing the motorway, said it will require a private partnership to fix the road. The Meridian Port Service agreed to expand the Tema runabout to deal with heavy vehicular traffic congestion on the road. The project, according to MPS, is a corporate social responsibility to improve traffic situation within the Tema enclave and beyond. After 10 months of work, the project was completed in August 2017 and opened to traffic. Motorists have admitted that the improved runabout has brought a lot of relief to them. Officials from the Ministry of Roads and Highways, Meridian Port Services and some port authorities officially inaugurated the road. According to the Minister for Roads and Highways, Mr. Kwesia Mwakwata, Government has secured a Japanese grant to construct a multi-level grade interchange as the second phase of the project, which is expected to commence in the first quarter of 2018. The ministry's ultimate goal is to provide a multi-level grade separated interchange to ensure free flow of traffic to and from the approaches with an improved level of service. And this is expected to come on stream latest by the first quarter of 2018 under a Japanese grant. On the renovation of the Accra Tema Motorway, the Chief Executive of Meridian Port Services, Mr. Mohamed Samara, said his outfit is ready to partner government to renovate and expand the Accra Tema Motorway. We have an ambitious also a project to participate in the bidding for the expansion of the Accra Tema Motorway. We have submitted our plans to the Ministry of Roads and Highways and they are being studied. Basically, we will add a third lane to the motorway if that is okay but the, the ministry has probably a bigger plan than that the director general of the ghana ports and harbors authority mr paul ansa sari was grateful to meridian port services for the project the project cost mps 30 million ghana cities and was executed by power china and sino hydro